Oh, adventures with his family he's seeking. Reporting weather, telling stories wherever he goes. It's the Ezra speaking show. Hello everybody, I am Ezra speaking. Today we have a special guest, the director of Purdue's All-American Marching Band, Professor Gephardt, come on in. Hi. Hey, Professor Gephardt. Thank you for letting me be here today. Yes, so we see this little train here. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us today. Can thank you introduce you. yourself? Sure, my name is Jay Gephardt, and I'm the director of the All-American Marching Band at Purdue. Um, I'm also the Al G. Wright Chair of Purdue Bands and Orchestras. Well, so is... I oversee this entire department. Wow, that is interesting. Well, thank you. Yes. Alrighty, we are going to go into our weather. So okay. our AT forecast here, um, I'll get, you can get started here. Okay. So on Monday, the high temperature is going to be 78 and we're going to have scattered rain showers. Tuesday, partly cloudy with a high temperature of 71 and a low of 56. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, I would say mostly sunny with a high of 77 and a low of 50. Mm -hmm. And then Thursday, it's warming up. We looks like, It looks like it's going to be partly sunny again, a high of 80 and a low of 54. Well, that looks like some good temperatures, everybody. Friday, we have a high of 79, low of 61. It didn't get cooler that day. Scattered rain, storm, rain and storms. Saturday, we also have the same thing. It's gonna be a little rainy um, through, the, the, through the weekend. Um, 82 for the high, 62 for the low. Uh, Sunday, chance of rain and storms. 78 for the high, 64 for the low. Monday, 70 for the high. 52 for the low, partly cloudy. Um, we're gonna ask some, I'm gonna ask you some questions. <clears throat> okay, very good. How many people are in the band? Well, in the All-American Marching Band, there are 395 members of the band. But in our entire department, like Purdue Bands and Orchestras, which includes the jazz bands and the concert bands and the orchestras, we have almost 1,200 students in our department. Wow. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? Yes. Our next question is, did you play in the band? I did not play in the Purdue band, but I did play in a band, actually. I played in my high school band, and I played in my college marching band. Um, I know a lot of Purdue fans are not terribly excited about this, but I went to Indiana University, and I played in the marching band at IU. Ah. Yeah. Um. I yeah. bet Purdue would be mad. Well, you know what? I love my band so much here that I wish I had played in my band at Purdue. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't know what can happen. You're but right. You're right. <clears throat> what what if what would you like what what would you like to be if you weren't a band director? You know, um, you're gonna be very surprised by this, but if I wasn't a band director, I wanted to be a meteorologist. <gasps> I know. Who wanted to be me, guys? I did. I wanted to be just like you. I wanted to do the weather. Wow. That was... I'm glad that you got to be a director and not steal my job. Well, what do you think? Do I have a future in meteorology? Yeah. Yeah, so when I, I, re I retire, this. I could do this job? Yeah. How Perfect. about that? Awesome. Perfect. What was your first job? My first job, um, before I was in college, in high school, I actually, I actually worked at a men's clothing store. But then when I got out of college, I became a band director and I taught in a big high school in Columbus, Georgia, way south. And after that, I came back to Indiana, which was my home, and I have spent almost, my, almost all of my career here in Indiana. Well, that's great that you could do that. Yeah. Um, what's the most extreme weather conditions you've played in in your band? Oh, my goodness. I bet there have been times when I, my band has sat in ross Aid Stadium during a football game when the rain was just torrential downpours. And so we're sitting out there with our raincoats on, and the students have their instruments underneath their raincoats so they don't get wet. 
And in fact, some students have to take their instruments up and protect them in the, in the concourse. And so that's probably the worst weather condition mm -hmm. or the worst weather conditions we've ever played in. So these like, do you see this picture? Yes. How, how does your, like your team, um, how does your team, like, how, how do you just, like, organize it as one person? Mm -hmm. Well, we have actually, we have a computer program. Oh. And we're able to draw these formations on the computer program. And then we enter in the computer how many students are going to be, let's say, in this wheel right here. Yeah. How many students are in that wheel? How and many then we, do you think would be in there? Oh, maybe 20 students. And then we hit a button and all of a sudden, all these dots appear on what we call a drill chart, okay? And then we assign a letter and a number to those. And then each student has a corresponding letter and number so they know exactly where to go. We can make all sorts of really unique formations with our band. And I saw everyone, they can make a P. Yes, we sure can. It's yeah. called the block P and that's been that's when one of our most important traditions at Purdue. Yeah, you we, guys, you guys can make, um, you guys can make a, a train word. You guys can make a boiler boiler up word. Yes, we can. You guys can make a Purdue word. Mm -hmm. We do, and we make at the end of our pregame show we make a beautiful shield, and then we have the American flag and the Indiana flag on either side, which is our patriotic show before we play the Star Spangled Banner. Oh. Yeah, that's an important tradition at Purdue also. Mm -hmm. So I bet you, do you do that every time? We do that for every pregame show, yes. Wow. Yeah. Is there any formations that you haven't done? Oh, there are a lot of formations that we haven't done. Um, you know, we, we like to animate formations. So we <laughs> like to make, uh, for example, the, the world's largest drum. Yes. You know, this past year, we made a formation of the world's largest drum and we marched it down the field but I would love to have the wheel on the drum spin while we march it down the field. Wouldn't that be neat? It would look like we're yes. animating the drum. It would be very yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that would be so cool. Yeah, that sure could would. actually happen. I know. Just stay tuned because maybe this fall in ross Aid Stadium, maybe. you might see something like that. You yeah. don't know? Yeah. Well, so I have one thing that you might want to play. Okay. Me. Would you like to play some more with me? I would. Can you tell me how this is going to work? Hey, everybody, we are at the table doing war. All right. So how we're going to play, I'm just going to demonstrate it real quick. Um, what's going to do, so um, let's just take, you pull up a card too. Let's say that this card is the same. Okay. We're going to put out three cards and, and take the card and flip it over. I get eight, so I get all of these cards. Wow. Yeah, that's That's works. incredible. Okay, you ready to play? Yeah. All right, great. So put shuffle the cards again. Okay, will do. And then whoever gets the highest, and if it's different, gets it. Okay, great. Whoever gets the most cards at the end will win. All right. That's how we'll play. Okay, great. Ready? Three, two, one. Hmm. Three, two, one. Oh, Ace Pizza Jack. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, war. Yeah. Ooh, and. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I win oh. all of them. Yay. All right. Oh, you right. got a seven, a eight, and a three. I got a seven and a five and a two over here. How about that? You just got to keep that. Okay. All right. I gotta Ready? win. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, you win that one. Seven beats a two. Three, two, one. Again. Whoever wins the next round wins it all. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> War! War. I gotta win. I gotta win. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, you won. Nine oh, beats an eight. So good. Uh, good game. Good game. Thank you very much. That You're was welcome. fun. It was so, first of all, I have a gift for you. Awesome. Thank you. We're on Ezra Speaking Weather Journal. 
Oh, how neat is that? Thank you so much for this, You're Ezra. You're welcome. And so I bet if I look at this QR Ezra, code, it would go second. to your YouTube channel? I want to scan this right now, and now you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, good for you. Way to go. Alrighty, so Thank everyone, you, very much. you should probably scan that, so. And Ezra, I have a special gift for you. Yes. My friend Trudy just brought this in to me to give to you. This is a world's largest drum Christmas ornament. Oh How about that? Yes. So you can hang this world's largest drum Christmas ornament on your Christmas tree and remember our special time together, okay? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy that. Thank you. You're welcome. Give me announcements to give out to the folks. I sure do. You know, classes uh, classes are over at Purdue this semester already, so oh, I just want to tell my students to make sure you practice this summer practice. so you're ready to go when you come back for the fall. And also, to everyone else, make sure you look for the All-American Marching Band in the Indianapolis 500 Parade, which happens the last weekend, Memorial Day weekend, this month of May. The Purdue Marching Band has been part of the Indianapolis 500 for over 100 years. Isn't that incredible? Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah, it's fascinating, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you everybody for joining us today. Thank you, Professor Gebhardt, for being here. Um, thank you everybody else for joining us. Please okay. follow the Purdue Marching Band on Facebook and also follow Dr. Uh, Professor Gebhardt's page. Um, thank you everybody. Please subscribe, like, to, and share this video. See you later. Bye. Bye.